Hi guys, market is certainly gonna be looking very very bearish right now. Things have been pretty pretty drastic, very very bearish for the last six weeks, and there's a massive news around it as well. The news is that a biggest whale of Terra UST has dumped the coin itself, and that is definitely gonna be affecting how the Terra ecosystem is gonna be working about because we have certainly seen that Duocon had bought 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin just last week and a lot more previous weeks ago so things are certainly looking very very bearish right now but that is something that always happens in this market these are high risk markets the bigger upside the bigger downside as well but there are some sentiments saying that the market can go below 20k which is going to be around 13 to 12k with a massive bearish flag but i certainly invalidate that because i have hardly seen bitcoin ever going its previous lows so 28k is the low that we had last time and previously we had 20k as a top of 2017 so let's hop into the details for today understand exactly what is going to be happening in this market whether we're going to be expecting another red week coming forward there is a high chance and that might just happen as well six weeks straight red candles as you can see on the screen things are looking very very bearish another bearish engulfing candle close on the weekly things are certainly looking very very bearish if you want to look at the candle size for our bearish engulfing candle so things are certainly looking very very bearish right now but if we do zoom out a bit and open the charts we can see on the weekly we did hit our bearish scenario one now 38k that was our zone that we were breaking down from has become a resistance so that is something we have to interestingly watch even if i want to open market cipher on the weekly we can see that the market can certainly come back up above forty thousand dollars which would be around 42 but ideally first we need to do break above the 38 zone 36 zone once we do break above these zones then only we can get into any kind of bullish sentiments for now market certainly does look very very bearish starting with our crypto bubbles bubbles are pretty much red market is massively down all coins are massively taking a hit but at this point i want to remind you guys if you are in a usdt pair certainly things look very very bad for you but if you were trading in btc pair things are still all right they aren't as bad as they are in usdt pairs so now we get into fear we are at extreme fear at 11 yesterday we were about at 18 in extreme fear as well if we get into long and short ratios global data 56.83 percent long positions open in 24 hours if we get into one hour 56.15 percent in long positions against 43.85 percent in short positions looks still pretty bullish here long and short ratio block trades 52.46 percent in long positions in 24 hours and 56.79 percent in one hour are in long positions against 43.21 percent who are in short positions if we get into the popular coins market sentiment btc neutral eth neutral and the funding rate is at the ideal place which is at 0 0.0100 percent for both of them things are certainly looking okay most coins are neutral though they have dumb because we never know when the bottom is gonna come nobody in the markets can predict the bottom that's how these markets work about now we get into my favorite part which is gate.io startup blockchain project discounts we're gonna be having olive olv olive is the first blockchain business project for genesis bbq genesis bbq is one of the biggest developers right now in the market space fresh cut diamonds is a web3 gaming content platform and community for creators and fans so this is something you gotta get into it another gaming content platform certainly is going to be doing very very well in the startup starting in one day starting in two days so still have a lot of time to go about this one we did discuss wonder man last week so wonder man is going to be coming out just in about two hours four minutes very very soon you also have cello that is going to be starting in just about four minutes so if you do want to get into that you surely can otherwise we can see on the weekend we had others also pumping which went up almost 400 percent which was lunar token which is still up about 458 percent things are certainly looking very very good especially in our dgen coins startup coins so ideally if you want to aim into all these coins all you have to do is click in the link given in the description below join gate.io with my referral id and if you do deposit somewhere around 100 dollars you will get an airdrop or rewards worth about 40 to 50 dollars i think this is the best deal anyone can have this is your time to get in and next up let's get into the news that i just discussed with you luna drops 20 percent so 20 percent in a day as whales dump terra usd stable coins sell off risk ahead luna usd pair dropped 20 percent between may 7th and may 8th hitting 61 its worst level in three months after a whale massive dump 285 million worth of usd as a result of this sell-off usd briefly lost its united states dollar pack 
falling as low as 0.98 cents looks very very bad right now i do hope rock on has something for it i'm gonna share that later in the video next up six weekly close in the red which way you dice it there is a little to be bullish about when it comes to bitcoin price chart this week the weekly close on may 8 at 34k meant that btc usdt delivered its sixth weekly red candle in a row the chart feature has not seen in eight years the last occurrence between in august 2014 then as now bitcoin was in the second year of its four year halving cycle having seen its first blow off top at just over thousand dollars in november 2013 this cycle however has been different as that blow off top either did not arrive or was a lot more muted than previous cycles so that's the chart we have also shown you discussed about it that we are one two three four five six and now the seventh one is also started looking very very bearish right now but we just started the day started the week so things should probably get better we have to be optimistic just can't become completely bearish next up just in another 320 million people have been liquidated from cryptocurrency markets in the past 24 hours a lot of fart a lot of greed that's the reason right now we have warned you guys not to get in any kind of positions just wait for the market to filter itself out take out that untapped liquidity that had been in this region from accumulation zones so probably once the market is settled down we can aim into some good trades next up we have instagram will soon support ethereum solana and polygon nfts on its platform i think this is going to be a massive killer for coinbase because coinbase nfts is a replica of instagram so once instagram itself is going to be supporting ethereum solana and polygon nfts things are certainly going to be looking very bad for coinbase nfts next up we have to look at the biggest news us dollar index rises 0.3 now we are at 104 highest since 2002 wow that is some long time ago about 20 years now shanghai beijing titan movement rules for covid zero things are certainly looking very very fueled up with that fight of corona virus we would ideally want that to go away people have a healthy life but certainly we don't control mother nature now what does duokon have to say about all this it was a cryptic message but here it goes those of you waiting for the earth to become unstable i'm afraid you will be waiting until the age of man expire cities have returned to the dust oceans have gone born dry the map of continent have been drawn and new and dinosaurs once again roam the earth good luck so certainly a massive cryptic message by him but certainly he's he's got something in his plan that's the reason he's talking about this we get into usdg's dominance zoom in a bit and get into our daily time frames we can certainly see that the dominance is now back into its trend the trend started all the way in november now we did fall below that trend broke down around 18th march within a few days we are back into the trend and we are higher than previous levels so we are now just matching the previous highs which is very very interesting the max week we have seen lately is 5.56 percent is that gonna be coming in here very very soon that's what i really want to watch out this weekend this whole week because that is going to be something very very important if we do break up of that that means the market can suddenly get very very bearish from here and we might have to be very very patient in taking further trades even if we look into btc's dominance just pumping a bit just about half a percent right now but it's way below our target zone which was 44 45 percent we are just nearly at 42 percent eth's dominance just has been pretty sideways just trading in that range just in that region for the past several months now so we would ideally want to break either up or down for now we are on the daily time frames going down we have seen eth breaking his price structure chart as well so things are certainly looking very very bearish when it comes to eth and nfts have also slumped in their volume from the markets if we get into others dominance especially in the daily time frame we had that w we are breaking out from the w very very well but overall still not able to break above into the zones that we were previously around 16 percent haven't even reached about 15.50 percent we are still way far we would really want to come back into this range and break above the ciphers but that is yet to happen in this market now we get into eth as well especially on the daily time frames we can certainly see that we are breaking that weekly uptrend that we had for past several months now which is a very very risky sign for e things are certainly looking very very bearish even if you want to see our altcoins i'm usually not looking at altcoins right now because it's full of fud 
but we certainly have to look at Luna since Luna has gone to its three months low. If we look at into daily time frames, we can certainly see Luna has broke down all the way with around $59. Right now, just trading around $61 doesn't look very very good we start this rally at 47 dollars so we aren't really far the next support for us to hold have to be 52 dollars that is something we got to watch out hope that we do hold that support if we fail to do that then things are gonna be pretty pretty sideways and bad action coming for luna obviously that is gonna be bringing a lot of fun because they were the one accumulating right now were in the news were hampering massive massive buys worth a billion billion dollars if that suddenly fades away from the market and they also are in some kind of FUD, things will certainly get very, very bad for the market right now. Or we will need some other whale to come into the market and kind of secure this market for us. Now we get into the support and resistance band chart. On the daily time frame, we are certainly back into our accumulation zone. Even if I want to be very, very generous right now and see if we dump straight today all the way down, breaking our cycle bottom as well. Coming near the weekly FIB will be about $22,000 and our support band is right now lying at $20,000. There's a massive uh, news in the market that this flag that we had been creating for some time has a potential to take us into the range of about $12,000. But we've never had Bitcoin doing that in previous history. So we really need to watch out for that. Maybe that does happen. We always have to keep our options open, but looks very, very unlikely right now. Now, I want to share with you guys the price structure chart, Ethereum. So if we get into that Ethereum's price structure chart, we have certainly broken above. We are certainly looking very, very bearish right now when it comes to ETH as well. Now, I'm going to be preparing a chart for it to see what can be the next zones. Obviously, we have to break below this level first, which has to be $2,300 to invalidate this higher low into a lower low positions. Once we do that, then the next low has to be at $2,160. We do know that the last time where ETH used to spend a lot of time used to be at $1,700 to $1,500. Well, if that certainly happens or not, that is going to be something we really need to watch out. And that's where I'm going to be making a chart very, very similar to this for Ethereum as well. That's going to help us guide us whether the market is going to be in a bullish scenario or in a bearish scenario. Uh, my worst case scenario right now lies at 28k so hopefully we do hold these levels and cypher like i said at the beginning of the video certainly is calling us into the regions of 40,000, 42,000. but ideally first we need to break above 36 to get into 38 levels once we do get into the 38 levels then we can expect something to be happening in the market overall that volume we really would want has completely disappeared in the daily time frames and if you zoom into the markets right now especially on the hour lease it looks very very scary so i'm not gonna advise you guys to look into it in the hour lease right now and if you are a person who's always scared to take trades this is the time for you to walk out of the markets keep your portfolio as it is and hopefully things are gonna get better from here i'm gonna be back in here tomorrow so if you like this video guys smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Bye bye